Today on Houston Life, pie with a purpose, the sweet story behind the Magnolia Pie Shop that's giving back to veterans and their families. Plus, high temperatures mean higher energy bills. We'll tell you more about an easy way to help you save money and avoid sweating expensive costs. And from reality TV to pop sensation, JoJo Siwa is chatting all about dancing her way to the top with a new feature film and tour coming to Houston. Then they can create everything from frosty furniture to frozen bars. We'll take a look inside the cool company designing larger than life ice sculptures. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Houston Life. It is Tuesday, Tuesday, September 7th. I'm Courtney Savala. Hi, Courtney. Hi, everybody. I'm Derek Shore. Uh, we're joking about it being a Tuesday because earlier you had mentioned it's Monday. It feels like a Monday because many people had the day off yesterday. I know. It just takes me a good 24 hours to get in the swing of things. Tomorrow I'll know that it's Wednesday, but I'll have to pause a few times. A shorter week and we'll take it. Uh, you've been doing some light reading over there, I a noticed. Little, a little light reading. So we've got the new edition of Pet Talk Magazine and this is for the Media Hounds edition. Who's that girl in there? Can you even stand it? Look at that, you and Oscar. Wow, he really poses like a gentleman. Doesn't he? I'm so, I mean, this, photo y'all I'm so excited it was a we were hot messes for him he was barking at every dog really? uh, that went by yes but he wants Aww. to chat you know yeah, he's, he a, he's a fun pup this is the first photo spread that he's been well it's not really a spread it's one photo <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> he's on the cover. Oh, wait, no, he's not. No, he's not. But it's a great read. And, you know, I made sure the rest of the folks in the building are going to be able to see this. We put copies everywhere. So don't worry, co-workers, just walk out into the lobby. We've got some for everybody. And Pet Talk essentially featured local media personalities and their pets. Is that right? Absolutely. It's their annual Media Hounds edition. So uh, it's, it's a great way to talk about our furry family members and um, if you're with adoption or how, you know, what you do in the community. I mentioned Tex in there as well. And one of, you know, they wanted to know like Oscar's strange habits. Well, I mean, well, I only got this much space, so I went with the counter surfing because we all know how much he loves to do that. He almost got some hamburger buns over the weekend. Uh oh, but you stopped him? We all did. We saw him. We saw him moving in. Those there. doodles, they're so tall, they can reach. A, I mean, they're like a human standing at a counter. They can get whatever they want. He's a mess, but he's our mess, and we love him so much. Well, congrats on the article. I cannot wait to read one of the hundreds of copies we have here in the building now, <laughs> strategically open to that page. Hey, Pet Talk Magazine does have a really cool event coming up on. September 25th. Lisa Hernandez is going to be out there. It's, it's a pet costume and it's all kinds of great stuff. You can find that information uh, in the magazine and on their website as well. Check it out. There's also going to be some really fun prizes to win there as well. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Very, very nice. Well, welcome back from a long weekend. Um, I, I got up early this morning. We had run down to Florida Friday after work. We jumped on the last flight out and it was good to just get away and unwind, turn off the phone for a few days, hang out. And I uh, really think you need to find some better looking friends. I, I know. Well, I they're, mean, they're, they're, hideous. they're ugly on the inside, mostly. <laughs> um, we had a great time. We went down to the palace where they do a drag brunch and Brandon had been the only, he was the only one in the group who had actually been to the brunch. There were nine of us. It is such a good show. A lot of bachelorette parties and, you know, a lot of people walking by on South Beach taking a look. Uh, but it was such a fun thing to do. Add it to your list for the next time you're in Miami. And then yesterday we did um, a little experiment at the beach. <laughs> Literally 24 hours ago right now, I was floating in the water. Mm -hmm. um, at the grocery store, we stumbled into something I Let haven't seen since the 80s. What? Sun in? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. I knew about. it! <laughs> So we thought, you know what, we're going to buy Sun In. What's no in Sun In, ever you might ask. <laughs> Literally like water and peroxide. <laughs> so we decided on the beach to try it out. Brandon put some in his hair. Uh, Matt, we were with my ex Matt, he put some in his hair. I was putting it in mine. Well, seemingly nothing was happening. Right, because you just kept adding it. And this is a true moment when we were in the elevator at the hotel, like, oh my gosh, uh -huh. what have I done? I am officially a redhead. An orange head. You're like a golden Derek. I'm like a golden <laughs> <laughs> counter surfing. Watch out for me. 
But I thought, wow, I really made a horrible mistake. Because on the beach, I couldn't tell if it was working. And in high school, when I worked at the pool and I was in the sun all day, my hair just sort of naturally did this. I think in my own defense, because of COVID, and I've been a bit more pale than usual, uh -huh. I think I just needed to feel tan. So you bleached your hair? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a, a remedy. I mean, it seemed reasonable at the time. Now, um, you know, we won't get any close-ups of that. So how was your weekend? Listen, I'm so glad Malibu Ken <laughs> is back. <laughs> What's weird is you didn't even say anything to me about this because this morning. I wasn't sure if it was like if you noticed or if you if it was like a sore subject. <laughs> I like wasn't sure. Bad dye job, <laughs> awkward conversation. I'm just gonna avoid eye contact. I'm just not. We've all been mention. there. <laughs> <laughs> when you talked about blow drying your hair earlier today, I thought, well, that's strange. And then I, you come in and I was like, whoa, hello, sun in. I knew it, but I'm, I'm so glad to meet Malibu, Ken. People change their hair color all the time. Uh, all the time. <laughs> and so this is my shot. I think it's great. It's very bronzy. Listen, I'm busted Barbie, so it's okay. I'm not tan. I've got a zit in the middle of my oh, forehead. Come on. You look it's great. All, listen, I've done like 16 masks in four days. I think you look fantastic. With this horn right here? I've got a horn. I, I don't even see it. Tell me about your weekend. Listen, what did you the get weekend was great. We, it was very relaxing. You know, kids were off school, and it was just fun. We, we got some pool time. Um, I didn't do any sun in. <laughs> Need to do that next time. Um, I but have we, some. you know, yesterday we went to the movies. Wow. When was the last time you all went to the movies? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. So we saw the new Marvel movie, which was. Fantastic. Um, I will tell you, like, put it on your list. This is Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This is Marvel's first Asian superhero film. It was incredible. From the stunts to the acting, of course, Aquafina is in it. And the actor, the main character here is Simu Liu, who is Korean-born, Canadian-raised, unbelievable actor. What I love about these films is that it's this it's the storyline the emotions are high it's funny it's you're you're sitting in all these fight scenes and you want everybody to win and I'm the popcorn and my you know it is so good. I can tell. You loved it. So and fired up. And best friend Lori always says, you know, she hasn't seen many of the Marvel movies. So she's like, I don't think I should go see it because I don't know the backstory. Listen, go see it. Because you don't need to know the backstory you, to enjoy the film. This is not a backstory at all. There's a few characters that you're going to see in there that if you're a Marvel fan, you'll get it. Um, the other thing that I thought was really interesting that I didn't know the actor that was in this film and kind of just like popped up, Ben Kingsley. Oh, you're kidding. No. I was in love with Ben Kingsley and The King and I as a child. I love that film. Wow, it's great to know he's still acting. Yeah, it was awesome. And um, his character is quite funny in it as well. So it's well, good recommendation. Very, very and it's good. about time that we had a superhero, you know, who's uh, an Asian American. That's fantastic. I know. It was very good. Go see it. I'd love to hear your reaction on it. Black Widow's great too. We saw that one. Okay. As well, so. You're on the circuit. Well, listen, I have a, a show you might want to watch. So, Impeachment American Crime Story. A lot of people you may have seen Monica Lewinsky on the Today Show this right. morning and what's interesting is so this this whole scandal was what like 25 years ago in the 90s and and this really focuses on the women of what happened back then and she opened up this morning on the Today Show really talking about what it was like to help produce this series mm -hmm. and revisit this time in her life you know in her early 20s almost saying like if as an adult or you know someone in your 40s or 50s you look back on this time in your life would you have advice for yourself would you know would she do things differently so anyway it was produced by Ryan Murphy premieres tonight American Crime Story it is a dramatization and even though she was a producer on the project right. she didn't have final say I mean no, Ryan Murphy's the boss yeah she couldn't change the script even if she wanted to uh, right I mean she had no veto power there at all I think it would be tough though I mean 20s are a hard decade for a lot of people yeah. I don't know if I would want to go back and continue reliving something that happened in my 20s you know no. it's gonna be tough you know and I think in a lot of those questions too when we go down that road it's sort of like what would you tell your younger self today 
Um, and so it, we hope that we can learn from all those experiences. And unfortunately, that one was, you know, in front of the world. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's always a learning moment somewhere. And I think people do the best they can in the moment, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I think in in your 20s, you based on like your life experience, you do what you think is best. Then there are also times when you know what you're doing is wrong. Sun in, hello, but you do it anyway, right? Well, listen, we learn. We it's all about evolving our choices. We learn or do we? Sometimes we don't. Well, still to come on Houston Life, forget ghosting. Have you heard of roaching? Roaching. roaching. It is the latest trend in dating. You might want to watch out for it. We're going to fill you in on what it's all about. Okay, don't go anywhere, Malibu Ken. We'll be right back. Plus, Joe Sam is cooling off with some frozen ice sculptures. Hey, Joe. Hey guys, Courtney Derrick, so you already see the beautiful structures, but we're going to be talking about how these structures are designed, how they're built when we come back here on Houston Life. Beautiful, amazing things to keep you cool throughout the summer, so we are definitely checking out these cool frozen structures, and we're going to tell you all about it here at Ice Designs Houston. Okay, so uh, before the break, we were chatting about the newest trend in dating. You haven't heard of roaching. I have not. Okay, well, I hadn't either until I stumbled into this New York Post article. And apparently, there, dating has evolved over the past few years and especially decades in the online world. And with your phone being able to set up a date, sometimes people do some shady stuff, right? So roaching is a term for when you're dating someone and it's new, right? Okay. And they're also dating other people, but they're dating lots of other people. And the, the term was apparently coined because it was inspired by the ickiness of seeing one of those nasty little bugs. But knowing when you turn the lights on, like maybe you know there are other bugs there, but when you turn the lights uh -huh. on, you see just how many there are. Yeah, why don't we just call it what it is, cheaters. But is it cheating if the new relationship has yet to be defined? If you're dating someone and you're not going steady, yeah, then I isn't the assumption should... that they might be seeing other people? I guess. Here are some signs that I you're being... I've been dated since the 1800s, so who knows? <laughs> he picked you up in his covered wagon. <laughs> some signs that you're being roached. The person takes a long time to respond to texts. Well, that's me. I take weeks usually. Changes plans at the last minute. Refuses to answer calls out of the blue. Derek? <laughs> it's just because I'm busy. I'm not roaching someone. Anyway, why don't we bring in Lauren Kelly now? She has our question of the day. Courtney's just a speechless, Lauren. I well, am. look, roaches, cheaters, they're all gross. And I don't like any one of them either, Courtney, so you're totally right on that <laughs> one. But we want to hear from you guys from meeting someone the old-fashioned way to writing love letters. What's a dating trend that you wish would come back? And yes, already got some great answers coming in. Let's start with Eric. Eric writes in, oh my goodness, love letters. It used to be you could write an epic sonnet and it would get right into the heart. Aww. Now Nowadays, you can't write a few deep, heartfelt lines without giving someone anxiety and getting ghosted. It's all emojis now, and I like that you put the emojis I in know, there. and if it's the wrong emoji, <laughs> oh, no. oh, don't get me started on sending the wrong emoji. Sam, Samantha writes in, the guy asking the parents to take the girl on a date, plus opening the door for a lady. Oh, Those are just great mm. ones you should never get rid of. And Mick writes in, Sadie Hawkins Day. And that's oh. where the girl asked the guy to the dance, right. right? And didn't Sadie Hawkins also involved, you know, wearing matching colors, too? Well, maybe. I don't know. I feel like ours was like a hoedown theme when we did Sadie Hawkins. <laughs> uh -huh. So it was like overalls and shirts right. that look like picnic blankets. What? Really? Uh. Yes, that was how we did it. Every Sadie Hawkins? <laughs> Very interesting. Was a hoedown? Guys, I was raised in Utah. It's not my fault. We didn't have Sadie Hawkins in Chicago. So no, we it did was it a very one, new thing. I think it was one time for homecoming, but I hated it because I'm not the kind of person that likes to ask somebody out. I'm just like, ugh. I get very anxious. Like and nowadays, no. the kids are all in groups. So yeah. it's not a single, hey, do you want to go to the right. dance with me? So it's that's just, a, who knows? You know what I miss, though? The couple skate when you would go skating and they would skating. do the snowball skate. Oh, yeah. And then you'd and you would hold hands and but skate, which is very dangerous. The snowball, you'd switch partners. You'd grab somebody else, right? Ew, yeah, that's, no, that's called roaching. That's no. roaching. <laughs> Lauren. 
Okay, I'm definitely out of it now. Head over to the Houston Life Facebook page and join the conversation. We will share a lot more of your comments a little bit later on. All right, Laura, thank you for that. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, we are saying goodbye to summer, not just yet. I mean, we still have some warm months Hold ahead. Your horses. But how about this? How about cooling off with some frosty designs for the fall and winter seasons? They are coming, I promise. Uh, it is happening, and this is so cool as well. Ice Designs Houston has some amazing sculptures to show off, and Joe Sam is there are now getting a look at their frozen creations. This is super cool. I love to see how this happens. The Courtney Derrick, it really is super cool. Literally, as we talk about it right now, you can see the designs right here. These are some of the structures that they have going on. But before we look at these beautiful designs and how they're actually made, we want to talk about the process. And to do that for us, we have Tyler here to give us the breakdown because you, we're going to be breaking down some ice in just a bit. But, you know, we had to throw that in. We have this huge ice block that's coming up behind us. Tell us about the process and how this is done. So once we get an order in, well before we get a design that's finished, it takes about four days to make the product. We use a DIY deionization process, which takes about three to four days, mm -hmm. you end up with crystal clear blocks. One's being pulled behind us right now. This is a process that's about two days in. Okay. It takes four days to get to this. So if you put your hand in, it looks like it's just a tub of water. It just looks like a tub of water. It looks like a tub of water, but if you feel down there, and I'm sorry, it's cold. Ooh, it's real cold. It's cold. <laughs> you can see that there's ice already seeding, and so it freezes from the bottom up. Right. We end up with a crystal clear block. We take it into our freezer, and there's one more process that we do before we're ready to start actually carving a finished piece. Now, what's really cool is we have some great pictures of the designs that you guys have done. Not only do they take this block of ice right here and they transform it into some really amazing things. You'll see those video pictures right now with different bars and furniture. Usually, how many different designs and sculptures do you do on an average, especially with the upcoming holiday and event season? So it's a very good question. We get a lot of customers that call us who have ordered in the past, and they already know exactly what they want. And those can range from cookie cutter pieces to some very specific pieces, uh, <laughs> corporate, personal, you name it. Um, we love to work with our customers to come up with new and different ideas. We always encourage them to check us out on Instagram, which is Ice Designs Houston. Uh, there's a lot of inspiration that people look and they see a picture on there and oh, they're yeah. like, I kind of like that direction. Let's work on something special for us. Tyler, we're right. going to be working on something special here when we come back because when we do this, we're going to be taking a block design like this and we're going to get started on a really cool piece for Houston life. Are we ready for that? Very ready. Glad you guys are here. <laughs> oh, we're, we're glad to be here. Courtney and Derek, we're going to get ready to head into the freezer and start carving us up a really, really beautiful structure for you guys. For right now, we're going to send things back to you in the studio. All oh. right. Can't wait to hear it. Very yeah, interesting yeah. how they make the ice crystal clear. We'll see Joe in just a bit. When we come back, summer isn't officially over just yet. Learn how you can cut the costs of your power bill and potentially save hundreds of dollars. And as we head to break, here's Bernie Quintero from One Hour Air Conditioning and Heating with your tip of the week. So when selecting an HVAC professional to come and do work at your home, it is so important to vet out these HVAC professionals. One thing you always want to ensure that you're checking into is that company's insurance and licensing. Every HVAC professional in the state of Texas must be licensed through the state to do work in your home. And it's also very important to ensure that uh, they are insured. The reason being is when you replace an air conditioner or you're working on an air conditioner, you're working on some of the plumbing and you're also working on the electrical in your home. You run the risk of if you use a contractor who's not licensed and something were to happen like a water leak or some sort of electrical short that could cause damage to your home and ultimately your insurance company may not cover those damages because you used a contractor who wasn't licensed. Thus leaving you on the hook for water damage or potentially even a fire. So best bet when selecting an HVAC professional, you always want to look into their licensing, look into their insurance. Um, that way you know you're covered. Houstonians know a lot about how the hot, humid Texas summers can really drive up energy costs, but our next guest says there's a simple way to save money and stop overpaying for electricity. Here to explain how it all works is Director of Operations for Power Wizard, Jeff Cocking. Welcome back to Houston Life. I love our conversations during the commercial <laughs> breaks. I always have a million questions. So for people who are unfamiliar with Power Wizard, maybe they've seen the commercials, explain how your company works. 
We do all of the work for you. It, it's as simple as that. You know, it, it, most people are uh, unfamiliar with electricity because they've moved in or they've just recently come here. And realizing you have to go shop for it, we do all the shopping for you. So we'll go out, we'll shop it, we'll figure out what the right plan for you is. And so we take the hassles out of all of electricity, but we save you a lot of money while we're doing it. And Jeff, the shopping part of it, I think is it's it's a good and a bad thing, right? Yeah. Because in Houston, when you have a choice of the energy, company that's great but it can also be very confusing and that's where people can get into trouble overpaying well if you like if you're like most people if there's something you're not comfortable with or familiar with you kind of avoid it you kind of let it push to the side I don't know about you but I've got things I need to do around the house things I need to fix I don't know how to fix it so guess what they're still broken and it's the same thing about electricity if I'm uncomfortable of understanding how to do it and to really figure out how to pick the right electricity plan takes a lot of math it takes algorithms you need to have you need to excel at excel to be able to figure that out and so most people just step out of it and they, they kind of hide from it and that's terrible you will be over paying before you know it. In Texas, you could pay some of the lowest prices in the country or you can pay some of the highest depending on how active you are from a shopping perspective. And if you don't shop for it, let's say you're with an electricity provider, you stay with them for year after year. You know every year they send you those renewal uh, renewal letters in the mail. It's like, wait a minute, how much was I paying? You say that when you stay with the same provider, that can really be costly in the long run. It is extremely costly. We know that about 75 to 80 percent of Texans overpay for electricity, and it's because they stay with the same electric provider over and over and over. So what we tell people is at least shop when they send you that renewal, because this market is based on introductory rates. We've all seen that where that super low rate that gets you on there, yeah. and they just slowly raise your rate over time. And so you need to actively shop when you get that renewal notice, we always tell people, come to PowerWizard.com. We have a really quick, fast tool. It's a calculator that you can see right now what the price in the market is and just shop it. See if it is a low price, 30 seconds. If it's a great price and they're really giving you a good deal, please take it. But if they're giving you a rate that is not good, then come to us, let us help you and work with you and get a better rate for you. Let's talk a little bit more about this savings estimator or mm -hmm. calculator that you have on your website. So when people visit your website, how exactly does it work? What kind of information are you asking from so, them? So we always tell people to bring a bill uh, and we're going to ask you your zip code because we need to know where you live. We're going to ask you for the month of the bill. We're going to ask you for the, how much the dollar is and what the usage is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make an estimate of your electricity usage for the entire year. And then what we're going to do off of that data is we're going to compute what your price is on your current plan, but now we're going to shop that plan in over the thousand plans that are in the market. And it says if we were to go buy your, uh, get you a new customer or a new plan, here's an example. This customer right there saved $980. That's the type of savings we see. Our average customer saves just a little under $700 a year, but we see $900, $1,000, $1,500 savings on a regular basis. See, to me, it's mind blowing that people can save this much money annually. And again, if you were just re signing up from that renewal letter with your current electricity provider, uh, the savings is just, again, mind-blowing. You have a monthly uh, membership service, so how does that all work? Because there is a small fee with that. We do. We charge $8 a month for our service for us to be able to shop you initially, but we keep shopping you in the market every month. If we find a better deal for you, we're going to move you to that lower price. And so that $8 allows us to set up your rate, make sure you're on the right rate, keep an eye on it, make sure when your renewal comes up, because the renewal is one we always forget about, we'll take care of everything for you so you'll continue to save that money year after year. Okay, very quickly, because we're out of time, what's your advice to customers out there who see these ads for a free gift card or free this and that with their new plan? There's a reason why they're giving you a, uh, something to try to entice you. Come and check the rate out because we've seen people give up to $600 gift cards, but you overpaid 1000 So that's not a game you win. You will lose at the house. So come and check out the plans with our calculator and find out, is it really a good deal and are you really saving? Okay, Jeff Cockane, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And to our viewers, if you would like more information, you can visit PowerWizard.com or call 855-475-8315. Okay, now let's check back in with Lauren Kelly, who has a look at a pop sensation. This is so exciting. She's taking the big screen, Lauren. That is right, Derek. Coming up, JoJo Siwa is taking over. She is chatting all about her new film, The J Team, and her tour that's got to stop in Houston. And we'll get a check of what is coming up for the news at 4 o'clock. Houston Life is back in just two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you. At 
this Tuesday. I <laughs> stumbled again at 3.30. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, it feels like a Monday for does. a lot of people. So earlier in today's show, we were chatting about this term called roaching. It's a new dating term. It's not good. It's not good. But uh, now it is time to get some of your comments on our question of the day, which is, what is a dating trend you wish would come back? Donna writes in, the man picking up the woman at her house on a date, bringing her flowers. Oh, that's so sweet. It is sweet. Corey writes in, I miss old-fashioned chivalry, men holding the door for women, bringing flowers on a date, offering their jackets when they're cold, and offering oh. their seats when there are none. I know. That is so sweet. Sarah writes in, pickup lines, guys these days, or nowadays, have no game. They just send what a message, or send a message that says, hey, based on what I've heard, I am happily married. You know what? I think it's so true. People are so buried in their phones that they forget to actually, I don't know, make eye contact with another person and say hello. Or like have a little effort there, kind of like the chase a little bit because everybody's used to apps and being able to select from your phones, you know? I know. I know. It's the good so old true. days, the 1800s when Orlando and I met. <laughs> Maybe Sorry, they'll come back day, around. Days. Those covered wagons are really fast. We are celebrating our 20th next month. Oh, you weren't kidding. I was a child bride. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. I was not. <laughs> Let's just check in with Keith Christine Frank. <laughs> and it was it was an arranged marriage. Yes. We know the whole story. You oh had no God. choice in it. <laughs> you know? You guys know sometimes what's happening in here and what comes out. I can attest there Courtney. was consent and she was of age. <laughs> Both of those are facts, whether she Boy, admits it or not. They are facts. <laughs> the secrets that come out on live TV, yeah. that's why it can be dangerous, folks. Oh. We'll try this at home. I'm, I'm getting pulled into my boss's office. Y'all take it away here. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. be right back. Nice knowing you. Here's Courtney and three goats. Congratulations. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's nice come back. You know what will never come back? Those long phone calls. You oh, meet somebody yeah. and there was no there was no you know cell phone. So oh, you get on and you call and you just talk for hours. No, and you fall asleep on the phone. You were so, but you were so happy. Oh my god, fall yes. Asleep on the phone. Do you remember that? Oh my no. gosh, yes. You oh. yeah, you, you could because you yes. just couldn't hang up. Yeah. I don't have enough minutes either. for that. No, you go first. No, you you, you no, say you bye, first. you say bye for no, you say bye. Oh no. That's it. That's it. That's like it's nice to meet you. No, you guys say bye. We're getting the wrap. Let's move on, Frank. I got nothing. It's beautiful outside. <laughs> it's know. just beautiful. Look at that sky. Temperatures 91, 92, 93, and it actually feels like 91, 92, 93. The humidity today is just doing nothing but dropping. 32% in Conroe, 20% reported in Cleveland, 38% in Houston. So it's going to be a lovely evening. The only fly in the ointment is that with all this sunshine, air quality warnings, at least through tomorrow. So if you have any kind of upper respiratory uh, uh, problems, unhealthy for sensitive groups. So be careful about that. Other than that, we're in really great shape. Hard to find much in the way of even cloud cover out there. I have high pressure to the north. This system we'll talk about at four. That's going to move to Port, uh, Florida. But between the two of them, we're getting this nice northeasterly flow. So that's why it's so pleasant. So if you're on the field this afternoon, it's going to be warm but dry. It feels pretty good. 94, 90 by six, then 88 at seven. Lower humidity continues. I wanted to give you a sneak peek. We'll talk about the 10 day coming up. But this is what we're looking at for lows the next few mornings 68 to 70. I'll have your neighborhood straight ahead. We'll talk about how long the relief is going to last. Still hot in the afternoons and watching the Gulf for those tropics. Larry's out there too. Lots to talk about. Yeah, we're still in it. All right, Frank, thank you. And here's a look at some of the other stories we're covering for you this afternoon, beginning at four o'clock. That's right. We already know the homicide rate in the city of Houston is up considerably from last year. Today, we're looking into how many cases HPD is solving. Yeah, plus nobody likes getting a shot, right? And right now, that's the only way to get the COVID-19 vaccine. But we're going to tell you about plans that are underway to develop a COVID nasal vaccine. So no needle. Plus, it may not feel like it here in Houston, but summer is winding down and fall just around the corner. That usually means good deals on popular summertime items. Consumer expert Amy Davis shows you some of the best discounts to get your hands on this very month. 
Oh, I'm right. guessing lawn and garden tools yeah. might be on that list. That's TVs. part of it, yeah. Yes, for sure. It is sale season. Not talking <laughs> shoes, but those televisions have really come down in price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Really? Nice. Yes. I guess we'll find out at 4 o'clock. Why don't you guys say bye first, though? <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Okay. No, you, you say bye. Okay. No, you say bye. You, you, you can do it. Call me. I'm, I'm about to fall asleep. Call me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so romantic. Bye. Love you. I know. <laughs> okay. From dancing to acting to all things sparkly. JoJo Siwa seems to be everywhere these days. She is so busy, and with her inspiring and bubbly personality, it is hard not to be a fan. Lauren Kelly got to chat with her about her wild ride of a career. Hey, Lauren. Hey, guys. Whether you know her from Dance Moms as a YouTube sensation, a pop star, an influencer, or from Nickelodeon, JoJo has grown into quite the successful young businesswoman. I got to chat with the superstar all about her new tour, new film, and, of course, that infamous side ponytail. There's something I would like to talk with you girls about. Oh, are you picking out new competition costumes? Because I feel like this year we gotta go head to toe flippy sequins. You know, the ones where you flip them one way and they're happy face and then you flip them back and there's something else? No, this isn't about costumes. Then are we learning our new competition routine? Oh. No, this is not about a new routine. Hold on a second. Are we finally getting that new vending <gasps> machine? Please tell me they're Sour Patch Kids. Jojo, you're like... Not even 20 years old, and you have this laundry list of a career. We're so happy to talk to you today. Jojo Siwa! Thank you. I love how pumped up you are. Well, girlfriend, you just make me pumped up. And I have seven nieces and nephews that they look up to you, and it gives me goosebumps to think that they look up to such a well-rounded, great advocate for so many young people. You just, you're doing your thing, girl, and we're so proud of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. Let's just jump right into it. We know that you're coming to Houston. You're going to be here at the Toyota Center, the DREAM tour. It's going to be here January 29th. We've been waiting for it. You tell, us about, tell us about the show. So it's going to be so updated and refreshed and new and bigger and better than ever before. I promise you, as much as you've been waiting for it, I've been waiting for it even more. So I promise to make it amazing and spectacular and better than anyone could have ever imagined it to be. I know for sure that that is going to happen, but you have so yeah. many things. New film is called The J Team. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about your character in the film and what it's actually about? Basically, in a 30-second version, my character is me, obviously, but nice. but I'm a I'm a 14-year-old normal version of myself, if that makes sense. Uh, like and I go to this dog dance dog studio for years. My game. teacher's amazing. She ends up giving the dance studio okay. to a new teacher who's not as amazing, but she's talented, but she's just a bit mean. And so then I end up getting kicked off the team. I end up making my own team. That team ends up quitting on me. I end up performing alone, but then they end up coming back mid-performance. It's it's a, it's a bit of a back and forth. It's, it's that really sounds like an amazing movie line. I can't wait to watch it. It's really, really exciting. And just... You're so happy, and what is what is the secret to your joy? You you bring us such a youth to everybody. What is the secret to staying and feeling young? You know, I think for me, it's that I'm just so genuinely happy, and I have everything that I could ever want in life, and I think that that's really, really, really awesome. And I think that every day I wake up and I have something to look forward to, and I think I end every day with something that I did that was fun and that made me happy. Yeah, it's all about the fun, girl. F-U-N all the time. But also, it is about the side ponytail. So I, I need I need some direction on how do I get the perfect side ponytail. Keep going, you gotta get a little bit higher. A little, a little, oh, hold on, hold on. I, I don't have too much hair, but I, I do have one of these. I I'm like it. Go ahead and put on, and I, I think now I'm ready for a JoJo Siwa costume. Now you're ready. Time to watch the movie. <laughs> Work on that, okay? <laughs> it looks fabulous. JoJo Siwa, you are a joy. We love everything that you do. You stay you, girl. You rock it. We can't wait to see you here at the Toyota Center in January, okay? Thank you so much. Lots of exciting projects for that busy girl and more info on JoJo's new film, The J Team, and her tour coming to Houston at HoustonLife.tv. Derek and Courtney, 
What do you think? Well, Joe, can I yeah, she fit right in? <laughs> I love it. And I love her energy, too. She's so great. And I can't believe she's 18. Uh, you know? She has had a career that is more impressive than most people in their entire life. Absolutely. And that movie, she's the executive producer on it. So Are you she serious? is just like lining up the credits one by one. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. So great. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. You look awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, coming up, this is like some, we're missing something. You're missing one, and we're missing a fourth. I'm so jealous. This but is so yummy. We're gonna yummy. try it, though. We are gonna try it, but we also have this great story. While a local woman has made it her mission to support first responders and veterans with these mouth-watering pies, and they're beautiful too. And as we head to break, here's our pet of the month, brought to you by Best Friends in Houston. Check this out. This is Harmony, three-year-old terrier mix. She is a quick learner with commands. Is great with kids. Energetic at times, but she also enjoys spending a quiet day by your feet. Look I at that face. That. And if you're interested in adopting Harmony or one of the other many animals at Best Friends in Houston, look what you can do. Follow that QR code on your screen. You just put your picture up there and take it and you're going to get all the information. Stay right there because Houston Life will be right back. Okay, we are tempting you here today. We are taking you to Magnolia, where a cafe is truly redefining the recipe of comfort food. In addition to being delicious, every item on their menu supports a good cause, giving back to veterans. Victory Pie Company owner Sheeta Blue serves hot and fresh pies daily to honor those who serve their country. would sum up victory pie in one sentence by saying we are pies with a purpose. To this day, we give back a portion of everything we do to veterans, widows, and children of veterans. We always want to give back as many, as, in as many ways as we can. So any military or first responders definitely get discounts um, on everything here at Victory Pie Company, as well as what we give back to the community. My brother, uh, Mark, was actually, uh, he was deployed in Afghanistan in EOD, um, and that is bomb squad. And that's when he was killed. He left behind a wife, um, a son, and an unborn daughter. And it was in that tragedy that I wanted to give back and do something. So that's why I started with his favorite, that chicken pot pie, and I started selling them in a farmer's market and giving back a portion of everything I did for veterans and widows and children of veterans, um, not just my family, but others. So many people poured into us, and I wanted to be able to give back. We've got our chocolate cream pie. This was actually my brother's favorite. Just got a cookie crust, fresh fruit cream, and then some chocolate shavings on top. This is a hit. If you like chocolate, this is your go-to. My favorite one so far is definitely the key lime. The food is absolutely amazing. The hardest decision you will make when you come in here is trying to figure out what you're going to order because you'll want it all. <laughs> the community has been nothing short of spectacular and fantastic um, in supporting us in what we do and keeping us as a small business. What I love is getting to serve a really good just home cooked meal that to me is what this is I just love I go in the back and it puts a smile on my face every time when we put our food out we make everything from scratch and cook that was something we did as a family you know we gather around the table a lot um, and that is if I had one more chance to give my brother to sit down at a meal, you know, I'd make it just like I make it here. And that's, that's why we do what we do. Such an incredible story. And we're honored to share it with you today. And Victory Pie's lead barista, Susan Boehm, is joining us now with a sampling of their famous pie flights. Yes. You had me at pie oh, flights. Yes. It's great to see you. Thank By you. the way, I love headbands. Oh, thanks. Can we just talk about your pie headband yeah. right now? It's so cute. I love, I love it. it. I love it. Okay, and I love that you worked with Sheila. Let's yes. talk about the pie flight because this Absolutely. is something quite different. We're used to flights of wine or beer or something like this. So now yes. we're pairing this together with we coffees. Are. Absolutely. 
Yes. And what is kind of the, the method here? We have kind of, I know she does sweet and savory pies and different things. So yes. how do you mix that with coffee? Okay, so what we've done, we've started thinking about different ways to mix and match flavors, profiles, things like that. So with my knowledge of coffee, we decided to pair it with Sheila's knowledge of pies. Um, some of our coffees will enhance the flavor. Some will mellow it out a little bit. Okay, yes. well, let's get started because I see forks in front of us. Absolutely. What is this flight um, in front of us today? So what we have as far as coffee, we have our Santa Lucia. That's our um, gonna that's gonna work as your palate cleanser. Okay. So as you're mixing and matching, if you need to give your taste buds a little break, that'll be your go-to. Mm -hmm. And we have our chai latte. Ooh, that's we good. have a campana, and then our tres leches latte. <gasps> Oh, oh yes, no. tres leches. Okay, yes. all right. And so this pie here is that's our apple crumb, and you would you could do that with any of the pairings. But okay. for today, why don't you try it out with the chai latte? With the chai. Okay. Yes. I'm trying not to ruin the camera shot. They say that these are so beautifully done, and I love how the coffee is in kind of these little mason jars as well. Right. We do that so you get a little sampling of everything we have. Um, you can try a little bit of everything, and then you can come back and decide what you like and get a full size. Okay. It's so rude to talk with my mouth. I'm so sorry, everybody at home. So what's that? What that's going to do with the apple crumb and the chai? It's going to bring out that really um, warm cinnamon kind of homey comfort taste. Tastes like Thanksgiving. Absolutely, yeah. Oh my so good. gosh! I don't ever want to leave this <laughs> moment. It is so good. Mmm. This has to be key lime pie. Absolutely, yes. And we like to pair that with our campana. The okay. espresso is going to really bring out the pop, that tangy pop of the key lime, really enhance it, make it a lot more flavor, flavorful, a lot more noticeable. Should I know what campana is? What is it? It's that? an espresso shot with whipped cream on top. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I know that? Oh, can I grab one of these straws? Oh, absolutely, let's yeah. I know. Let's, let's see. Campana. Mmm. So that's a good way to introduce yourself to the Boulder coffees. Um, espresso for some people is a little strong. They like their lattes, their cream-based drinks. That's a really good way to introduce yourself to espresso. This is lovely because sometimes espresso for me can be very acidic. Yes. And mm -hmm. super strong, even though I love the taste of coffee, but this is lovely. Oh yeah, mm. that's a good way to introduce yourself oh, I'm to slurping. the Boulder. Okay, Derek, come on in. I know you've been eating one, but I'm gonna try this last one. This pie is? That's our pecan. Okay. Um, toasted Texas pecans oh with sweet filling, and we do an all butter crust. Ugh. And we like to pair that with our tres leches. It's going to really give a nice caramelization to the pecans. What a clever idea to do these little pies and the flight. Courtney, yes. while you're taking a sip, Susan, I do want to point out we have this Instagram poll going, so a lot of our viewers have weighed in about their favorite pie flavors. It mm. looks like between apple crumble, key lime, and pecan, the winner so far is pecan. Pecan, okay. Yeah, yeah people that's are a Texas in. classic. Absolutely. Yeah. So visit our Instagram page and let us know what you think. Here's what I'm going to say. Why choose just one when you can have, when you all, have three? all of them? You know, yeah. that's the way I feel. Well, that's the point of the flight. And you know what? The story behind the business and watching Sheila's interview, it really is incredible that not only are you creating these delicious treats, but there's an incredible reason you're doing it. Yes, we um, like to say we have pies with a purpose. I Absolutely. Love that. Yeah. And, and, and everything we do, we have a reason for it. So, yeah. It's so wonderful. Yeah. And what a great way to uh, end the day today. It's a beautiful story. Thank you so much You're for welcome. explaining the Thank coffees you. as well. Thanks for lunch. You can <laughs> find the full story and details on these delicious pie flights on the food and drink section of our website. Also, head over to Magnolia to check them out as well. Our website, of course, is HoustonLife.tv. Okay, what now let's check in. Uh, it was the cherry pie. Delicious. Cherry, That's uh, my favorite. It's cherry. one of my favorites as well. I'll be finishing it after the show. All right, let's check in with Joe Sam, who's putting the finishing touches on this cool ice sculpture. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah, so we're talking about the finishing touches here. They let me play with the big toys here. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up. And when we come back, we're going to tell you all about the amazing ice sculptures here at Ice Design Houston. <laughs> Welcome back here to Houston Life. When we left off, we had this amazing structure right here that we were cutting into. We're going to finish cutting into it so you can see what the design is going to be like. Oh, there we go. Ah. <laughs> Get the strong man jeans going in. Really, really cool things that are happening here at Ice Design Houston. 
There we go. Perfect. You can bring it, bring it, bring it up. Bring there it we go. <laughs> yeah, go. And we're going to continue finishing on this here. We have Josh here with us, my man yes, here. Sir. Look at this amazing sculpture that we just finished designing. And this is really cool because we're talking about Houston life. And this is right. something that you do on a regular. So oh, when yeah. we get ready into this, what is the finishing process? So typically what we'll do is we'll get more snow and we'll pack the logo in nice and tight so it's ready for presentation. But for right now, I'm just going to finish carving it out and I'll take it out and put it on the table right here to join the rest of our sculptures. Oh, wow. And we'll, we should be all ready to go. And this is really thick too. So about how thick is this here with width and length within this huge ice block here? This is not one from the Titanic, you guys. No, th so this <laughs> is about a nine and a half inch block total and the logo will be about four and a half inches of Wow, absolutely wonderful. So this is a family owned business. Talk about how you obtained it. Yeah, so it's been family owned for over 26 years. Um, so the previous owner and his wife sold it to me and my wife uh, just last year. So they've been doing it for over a quarter century. And uh, you know, after COVID and everything, we kind of talked and he and I were good friends and we decided to take over Absolutely, uh, the business wonderful. forum, and, and then, uh, we've been doing it for over a year now. And really quickly, because you guys have been doing this for so long, you have some great things that are going to be coming up this coming fall and winter season, and you're going to be giving back to the community. Absolutely. So Christmas is always really busy for us, but you know, of course, with Hurricane Ida, we did our research. We know you're a Cajun. We know you're there from Louisiana, <laughs> our neighbors the east, and with everything they're going through with Hurricane Ida right now. We want to do something to give back. And so you see here we made a little Texas-sized sculpture with Louisiana and Hardin that we care about them. So 10% of all of our sculpture sales in September are going to go towards Hurricane Ida relief efforts. Wonderful work that you're doing here. Really cool work that they're doing here is too. Josh, thanks so much for having of us course. here at Ice Design Houston. Absolutely. Go ahead and step back and show them that amazing Houston Life sign oh, yeah, too. Right We're going to be right back when Houston Life returns. are making a positive impact on patients and families at Texas Children's Hospital. True service animals there. Mm -hmm. Plus, from A-Leaf to Hollywood, comedian Mo Ammer fills us in on what we all can expect at the new stand-up special he's filming in Houston. Of course, he's a friend of the show. He's a Houstonian. It's going to be great to catch up and with And I'm him. so glad he's doing this new special in H-Town. Absolutely. Fantastic. It's great. Well, it's a nap time for Tex, uh, but thank you so much for joining us today on Houston Life. We're going to do it all again tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. For now, okay. let's toss it over to Keith and Christine. Standing by for the news at 4. Hey, guys.